Hey everybody, welcome back. This is episode two, if you want to call it that, of our series, new video series, Knowing the Truth. Okay, and this week in this video, we're going to talk about the Spirit of Truth and the Holy Spirit. Because in last one, uh, the last video that we just did, we talked about knowing the truth and letting the truth set us free. And so I, I believe the Lord said that it is very important for us to know who the Spirit of Truth is because he is the one that's been sent to us to reveal the truth. So we're going to get into scripture here real quick. If you do have your Bible or you're, or you're going to read along or read later. Here I'm reading out of John chapter 14 verses 15 through 17. Again, that's John chapter 14 verses 15 through 17. And this is what it says right here. It's, this is Jesus speaking. He says, If you love me, you will then keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever he is the spirit of truth the world is unable to receive him because it does not see him or know him but you do know him because he remains with you and will be in you okay so the first part i wanted us to see here is that jesus right before he uh, died on the cross rose again from the dead and ascended into heaven he promised us and said that he was going to send from heaven the spirit of truth, which is otherwise, or other words, known as the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit, I like what it says right here. He's the spirit of truth. Okay, so again, we're learning about the truth. It is important that you have the spirit of truth. And when you get saved and get born again, it says right here in verse uh, 17, Jesus said that the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, he will be in you. So if you're a born again believer, you have the spirit of truth on the inside of you. So that's what's going to help you understand and go deeper into the truths of God. Now, with that being said, like I said, I'm going to try to hit one or two uh, scripture references for us to see these topics or these things that we're studying here. So here in John chapter 16, verse 13, Again, Jesus is speaking here, and this is what he says about the spirit of truth. And like I said, this is going to hopefully help you uh, answer some questions for you or bring some light to you or encourage you to dig deeper into this to grow in the truth. So here we go. John chapter 16, verse 13 says this. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide or lead. Other translations say lead. He will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own, but he will speak whatever he hears. He will also declare to you what is to come. Okay, so one thing we need to hit on and we need to understand and know is that Jesus has given us, because Jesus has obviously died and rose again. He's already ascended and been seated in the heavenly places, okay, at the right hand of God. So he has sent to the earth, the Father God has sent to the earth, to Christians, to believers, to the ones that have accepted Christ, if you've prayed the sinner's prayer, the Holy Spirit has now been sent to live on the inside of you and not just live there to hang out with you, but to live there and help you. And there's many other things that are listed actually in these portions of scripture, what he's here to do. But we're just talking about the truth for a moment here, uh, taking a specific thing. And he said that he is, first of all, he is the spirit of truth. So anything that comes from truth comes from that spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, okay? That's why it's important for us to have relationship with the Holy Spirit, because then we'll know when the Holy Spirit is sharing information with us, and we'll know that when it's the Holy Spirit, it's the truth. It's the truth of God, because see, the Holy Spirit won't tell you to do things that's outside of the truth. He won't tell you anything that's false, okay? So again, that's why it's important for us to know Jesus' sayings and know Jesus' teachings and to know the Word of God because when you hear things on the inside, you'll be able to decipher and know whether or not it's from the spirit of truth or a spirit of deception, which is obviously evil spirits, demons, and all those things. Because there's, like I said in last video, there's many voices out there. There's many thoughts. There's all kinds of different beliefs and all these different things. The only way for us to know the truth is to listen to the spirit of truth and like it says right here in John chapter 16, Jesus said that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, will lead you or guide you into nothing but all of the truth. So that's why, again, it's important for us to not only read the Word of God, 
but understand and know the truth that God has sent to us a spirit, the Holy Spirit, who is holy, and he's the spirit of truth, and he's here to lead us and guide us into all truth, okay? In other words, think of the picture of a father or a mother uh, grabbing their child by the hand and leading them across a street into safety hand in hand. That parent is is leading them to the other side to get to safety. So think of truth as your safety and think of the Holy Spirit as being your counselor, your guide, your leader, your helper, and your parent in that picture. And you're just that little child and you're allowing the Holy Spirit through relationship to lead you. He's not gonna force you into the truth, but he's going to lead you into all truth if you have a relationship with him and you learn about who he is and spend time with the Holy Spirit. So again, I hope this blesses you. I hope it encourages you to dig in and learn more about the Holy Spirit and grow in your relationship with the Holy Spirit because that's what's gonna help you in this series. That's what's gonna help you in these teachings is to know the truth, know what the word says and let the Holy Spirit lead you into all the truth. Okay, if you can like and share this video with other people who may not know Christ or maybe they just got born again and just got saved, share it with your friends, share it with as many people as you can, because we want to bring, as Christians, we want to bring truth into this world, because we're in a time of darkness right now, where a lot of people need light, and they need truth, and they need peace and comfort. What more can you ask for than in the Word of God? So God bless you guys. I love you guys. Looking forward to seeing you next video.